what's up shady crew back at it again with another reaction video and today we have uh, another requested video it's going to be uh, one that has been requested over and over and over again and so i'm finally getting around to it definitely wanted to go ahead and get this out since it's been requested so many times and that is little dicky really scared um now we've reacted to other vids of little dicky seeing the evolution of how he got to where he is today during the tours and um, the different tracks that he's done with major artists and just becoming mainstream himself and just solidifying the fact that he can actually rap and not just jokingly but the man actually has bars so i'm interested to see what this entails i mean from the title really scared I don't really know man it's a little dicky like it could be comical uh, it could be serious like he has so many different avenues in which he could take you so i don't really know uh but i am interested to see if it stays in that line of just solidifying just how dope the mc this man truly is so um if this is your first time watching uh, please stay to the end of our uh to the end of the video that's typically when i do my reactions and without further ado, let's get into this video. Yeah. I feel like people are really weird about admitting when they're scared. If you're not scared ever, you're just lying or something. You're being weird. You're being weird. 10 days in the bay left. And I don't mean to overthink that. Got a one way straight to LAX And I ain't blink yet I know you think that I done figured out this whole thing Like where's Chink at? Segway to the dicky getting bigger than a Yao Ming But can I shrink that? Where my shrink at? I don't know what to feel Everything has gotten totally real Everything I always wanted right in front of me with nobody near So it's weird that I'm overly scared But I'm so unprepared Holding the beer, I'm withholding the fear Not in the clear, but I'm kinda revered And yeah, I might appear like the chill type The veneer's not real in the real life What it feel like? Thanksgiving, I was missing, I ain't even miss him Girlfriend hella distant, I ain't even listen Only shit I really care about is spitting written This is the beginning, I'm just getting into the game My world's not spinning the same The shit looking like it's bigger than Dave It's so crazy But when all this sit in the stake I can't break even if I'm afraid it might change me But you know I treat the game like a project So you know it's not the same kind of progress Different process, but I digress Other rappers didn't blow overnight They ain't had a 9 to 5 that was totally right They was all up on the grind from the moment they write At 25, hadn't even done a show in my life It's like, damn, I'm a rapper? How did that happen? I was making ass then back when I was used to rapping to my Seriously. Mac then Pac Van News came through like, shoot, let's practice Try and tell you I ain't bred for this shit Despite that, feeling like I'm meant for this shit But like that, everything depends on this shit And I ain't betting against it But I ain't had a moment to reflect what I'm betting against it I'm next even though it's pretentious I sense it, relentless, but it leave me defenseless I guess I should learn to accept it, but it's hectic Oh, you want a condensed list? I'm worried that I'm about to give my all to it, 100% You ain't gotta know it all to discover what's left Pretty fucking intense And I worry that I got a lot of gall when it come to success Telling y'all this a hundred percent But what happens if I fall short of what I call the shortest of bets? Cause what's a hundred percent? What's a hundred percent is that it take a lot to make me content And I'm about to chase around a legend that I fucking invented While I'm neglecting everybody that I love and respected Because I hate the thought of coming a second And I don't wanna do no second guessing when it come to progressing Because I really couldn't stomach regretting my effort when I'm at the end And I'm assessing if I could've done better I better be able to be it and never or be the best ever But if somehow I'm really that special Then I'm about to deal with mad pressure I fear that when I finish my assessment I'ma be in depression Because I'll see a lot of me as regressing 
reflection It's obvious to me to be the best A lot of me is repressing itself I wonder what I'll see in reflections I wonder if I run into a woman Cool but coming in second Or if I'm bound to be the fool at the weddings Alone and regretting the whole thing Now you're seeing why it's so big What would y'all do if y'all were the old me? Get involved then you gotta give the whole thing This is no fling This the voting Every motherfucking part of yourself No matter whatever the card you was dealt You going all in I don't know about y'all, but I'm gone And I don't know if I'm ballin' or ballin' If you love me, you know I could get deep Baby, hope you ready, I'm coming through Running you, that's what I do Just know that it's all, all for you So what you gonna choose? Afraid to say okay So yeah, let's get into this. Um, Little Dicky really scared, and it featured um, Azaday. Uh, yo, let's just deal with Azaday right now. Yo, madam, your voice is amazing. Every time she came in on the track and hit that hook, man, it just took it to another level. I think they even cranked up the bass a little bit on some of her her parts, man. <laughs> but nay, nays, ma'am. I mean, I haven't really heard much of As A Day, um, but yo, she has an amazing voice. Um, definitely in this track, it just suited her 100%. Now back to Lil Dicky. Um, yo, like you said in this track, man, I don't know how you became a rapper. I don't know how we got to this, uh, this point to where we're having this conversation, but I'm glad we are. Um, you are the counter to everything that we perceive as hip hop, as we perceive as, as rap, because you don't fit the build, you don't look like, you don't um, carry yourself like, yo, but when they put a mic in your hand and they give you a beat and they give you your 16, it is always fire. I want y'all to think about that, man. So far, you have not heard a Lil Dicky track that is trash that you go yeah yo like that was weak you haven't heard one like this is an anomaly that we're watching right now and um it's crazy because these are older tracks that we're um looking at so a lot of this stuff i know i can speak honestly i missed it like i didn't really catch on to the little dicky vibe until he was already mainstream so being able to go back and kind of retract and listen to these tracks and hear how he puts his songs together, see his progress um, and his walk into fame is absolutely dope, man. Like this man is certified dope. He has bars, he has lyrics. And the crazy thing about this whole track is the track is so chill, but the message behind it and the way that he executes the bars on the track just takes it to a whole nother level. Like you could listen to this track three times over and catch a different metaphor that you missed the first, second, maybe even third time that you listened to it. Like this man was, he was breaking it down, you know, and um, the second part to this track, he kind of amped it up where he started to speak about his progression and him possibly losing himself in the process. Like when I come to the mirror, will I recognize who I am? What parts of me will I leave behind to chase after this thing called fame? Like, yo, he gave he gave us some nuggets in this track, man. On top of the fact of him just spitting his bars, like it, he had his witty parts in it. He had his metaphors, but he also had a message behind it. So it was kind of like a trifecta that he put together. And then as the day came, blew us all away. Like, yo, I love this track. I'm not even gonna lie. And um. I mean, it, it's hard to really, like, really get into, like, the slow songs, because most time when you think of slow songs, you think of slow dancing. Um, nobody really tries to do a slow song. It's more upbeat, more amp, 
um, playing around with the bass here and there, but this track was dope, and it was it was definitely something to behold, man. He gave it to us in this one, so salute to Lil Dicky, man. Keep doing your thing. I think he has a tour coming up, and and uh, next spot is like L.A. Um, I mean, come on, guys. Like, it's crazy to see this progression, to see him get to this point. Absolutely dope. So definitely salute to Lil Dicky and all those that ride with him hard, man. Dude is dude is on his way to legendary status, at least in my eyes. But that's my thought. You guys let me know what you thought about the track um, and whatever comments you have in regards to Lil Dicky. And we're just going to keep this thing moving. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video is coming up next. Make sure you smash that like. Subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew, stay shady out there.